What a riff. Ugh. It Ska doesn't get enough love for the guitar players that, that do this shit. Yeah. Because they find a fucking tone that would make Metalhead salivate. Yeah. The crunch in that fucking rhythm guitar is ridiculous. I guess the downside being that there really are no ska bands anymore, and especially after yesterday. Damn. Well, 40 years, to quote a, quote a wise man, this is a good run. 39, yeah, was, they, they formed in fucking 1983, Mighty Mighty Bostons. God damn. In Boston. It's the only thing I like about that shit city. Maybe they broke up because uh, about that storm about to hit. Tonight, I'm like fuck, boys, we got to get the fuck out of here. If you made it around like 39 years, I'm pretty sure a storm isn't going to matter for a dick, right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. If I was up there, I'd be driving west as far west as I could go, yeah. get a hotel room. Like I'll see this town in a fucking week if it's still here. Now I think you go down to Brookline, you know, and just hang out at a, at a travel lodge. You know. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> well, that sounds like a dream of another man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, Boston's done. They announced yesterday 39 years of ska. And now let's be entirely honest. They haven't really put out a hit or like something that brought them back in the mainstream. I feel like the fans of Mighty Mighty Boston's were the same fans they had in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, they put out a new track last year. Uh, what God, uh, the God something or another. I don't know. God damn it. God damn motherfuckers. Um, they put out. They put out. One last year, I'm like well, shit. And then you start looking down the, the the list. Actually, they've been putting out pretty much new music almost regularly since they did this reunion tour in like '05. Like more, no more than like two years goes by, and they're still cranking out another another hit. You know? So well, they they had a period where they were like on hiatus. Then? '99 to '05, they were on hiatus. Okay, and, uh, yeah. so they've been around for uh, 33 years. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. <laughs> not, not to be, uh, you know, on the button about it. I just thought the only shit thing is like, what, the Boston's are done? Which, okay, first of all, if I'm being perfectly honest, I thought they were done like a decade ago. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I, the fact they've been doing new music for the past 15 years is a shock to me. Yeah. And then the other thing, the, the sad realization, is that they are no more, and yet we still have like Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam, yeah. not a ska band, but they're a band, and we still have them, whether we like it or not. You want to talk about a band that gave their like fans of the first fucking couple albums the old switcheroo? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the old shell game, right? <laughs> that Pearl Jam fans and Opeth fans know what's up, and they got well, and they got angry, right? They got indignant, you know, and people are like, oh, really like that? They're like, what? You like our music? Fuck this! We worked too we, hard for we this. We got to do something different. Clearly. We, we, we want to do stuff that we like and nobody else does. Well, you know, but they don't seem to fucking mind the money, right? Pick a new musical genre then, homies. Yeah. I of course, then, just... again, then again, their, uh, like their, their iconic uh, figure that they really kind of got behind back in like 96, 97 was Neil Young, who now you can't find his Ooh. ass on Spotify, but that eh, is what it is. That's become a very it, – it has spilled over into – the metal scene, this whole Joe Rogan, Neil Young, Spotify thing. And for those of you who don't know, Joe Rogan is like a shaved ape that uh, has some really bad ideas and spreads them out to his 7 million subscribers. You, you may have heard us speak rather positively about him like a couple years ago. <laughs> well, back before he started having just nothing but the extreme right on his fucking podcast. Yeah, and um, Juliana Pena. <laughs> oh, she was on? She was on there. Uh, she th See, I would never know because I don't even have Spotify. The only reason I know is because she said some headline-making shit. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> on, uh, on his podcast, and I saw it on my on Low Kick MMA, that uh, basically it, they're just trying to kill people and be, and be rich, this whole COVID-19 thing. Which, to Joe Rogan's credit, he's like, now hold on. I don't think that. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it is. Uh, Rogan likes to likes to be the he likes to be the scoundrel, the 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 rabble rouser. He's doing it. Hell and of the, a job. Too. Well, the problem is though, he is at the he's at the tip of that spear, so he's catching all the shit, you know. And then people start piecing things together. And we're like, wait a minute, he was like real tight friends with that asshole Alex Jones. Hold on, is this is this the real Joe Rogan? I always thought. 
I always thought he was probably just an inquisitive cat that had a few unfortunate friends. I actually think that he's an asshole that back in the day used to be able to be a little bit more object, uh, objective on uh, his takes. Until he didn't have to be. $100 million. Old, that, that's, in his own words, that is fuck you money. So he's going to do what he wants to do. Yeah. And, and apparently what he wants to do is talk to the outright only. Yeah. I, 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 the other thing, I don't know if I enjoy Neil Young's little fitty three i don't i'm not i'm not you can have young or rogan you can't yeah, have that both. was that no. was that was like bro you know what they're gonna go yeah, with what yeah. are you doing for spotify right nothing except you're fucking what, what, there they, they're just gonna go ahead and rip up the contract with rogan and let him walk with his remaining like whatever the fuck remains in his bank account no yeah no they're gonna they're gonna back the guy that they have a ton of money invested in right which david draymond fucking uh singer disturb applauded at spotify to the chagrin of uh, one Sebastian Bach. Yeah. Well. I, so I like Jamie Joss's take on it. It's like, I don't care about the Neil Young thing. When Neil Young gets a streaming service that pays musicians fairly, then I'll care. Right. Like, All right. Because well, Spot- Spotify doesn't pay anybody either. You know, oh, it's, no. It's, it, musicians are the one getting fleeced, and then they're trying to come up with some, some uh, alternate methods of income. I've got a friend of mine, um, a singer-songwriter, uh, that um, he's trying to sell NFTs on his music now. <laughs> it's like, how? What? Uh, uh, huh? How? How the? How? How does that even work? How does that work? And can I do it too? It, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, oh, you went to all this trouble of writing this song, producing this song, putting it out there, and then now some other asshole is going to own it for a, an amount of money. Yeah, and it's nothing. No, it's it's really not. You're getting nothing. I mean, are you, well, I guess you're what, getting the digital download? You're getting the album art, if there is any? I mean, I don't, and for that, it's like, yes, I own this. Y- yeah, yeah, you do, but you kind of do an Apple, you know, on iTunes, although they don't pay an artist dick either. Oh, well, they pay them a lot better than fucking Spotify. Apparently, you don't hear, you'll hear like some musicians complain, and then it's quickly remedied. <laughs> well, and that's why Apple went over to like their iMusic service, so that way they could pay people what Spotify does, which is fucking criminal. Yeah. Um, so, you know, at least off the original iTunes, Apple would keep like 60%. Well, the artist is getting 40. Artists ain't getting 40% of shit on Spotify. Yeah. Artists ain't getting 4% of shit. Artists aren't getting 0.4% of shit on Spotify. Friend of mine, the same dude, told me that he's got to get like basically like a thousand spins in order to crack a dollar, I think. Or less. Damn. That's a th- actually, actually, it's not even a dollar. I think it was like 80-something cents for a 1,000 spins. 10,000 spins, you're in the ballpark of being able to go out and, like, I don't know, buy, buy, buy lunch. For your body of work. Yeah. So if we uploaded that podcast to Spotify and it did as well as it did on YouTube. Oh, the uh, pissing we one? We would have made <laughs> four and a half dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Some of them, I mean, but so that's why that's and, disgusting. That's by why the, the non fungible token, the NFTs, are really becoming a thing that artists are looking at. And what it's, the fuck is fungible? I mean, that means that you own that, and there are no other copies of that. It is unique uh, to your purchase. But what if? But I see. That's a thing, though. It's like snipping tool is a thing on Windows that you can use to take pictures and make them your own. Right. I could take that picture, download it, put it on my phone, boom, it's mine. I got it. Sure. For free. I don't get it. It's like because if that picture makes you money. Now, see, and this is where the weird crypto shit starts to creep in because oh then, oh yeah, they own it, but you know what they can do? They can then they can turn around and sell the mastered copy of what it was and whatever it is to someone else. So it's like an investment. No, it's not. No, it's not, bitch. It's... I'd rather have bought Bruce Springsteen's catalog. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, hard sell there, but oh well. And then go to New Jersey and burn all the master tapes. Be like, nope, I inst- no more Bruce Springsteen music. It's I can, over. I can kind of get behind that, but yeah. So you got to buy those bras before you burn them, you know? Is he the worst artist, in your opinion, out of New Jersey? It's between him, Bon, bon Jovi, Jovi right? and... God damn, I don't even know anybody else from Jersey. I... I I almost lean more Bon Jovi, even though I do hate Springsteen, but um because because of the shit. If if Sebastian Bach is to be believed, is that when they were uh, doing their big 
their their inaugural tour, the first one they ever did, and they were opening for Bon Jovi. And apparently, Bon Jovi and his brother and dad and whole and all of their road crew decided to come have some words with Sebastian Bach because they didn't like some shit that he'd said on stage. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, much it is and that's and i think actually that's the karma stick that has kind of kind of cracked john bon jovi over the head and went straight in his ass because what has he fucking done since then yeah yeah looking at the f- like the big names of people that are from new, Zer- new jersey it's between springsteen and bon jovi because yeah. i wouldn't put iced tea in that because he'd fucking kill me <laughs> well and iced tea's good at what he does right Hell yeah, he's good at talking shit about cops and being one on TV. I'm not going to appreciate that. That dude is fucking doing it right. Next one, you interrupt me, going to get shot. Hey, 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 hey. So here we are. So, uh, yeah, we... uh, Sorry if people heard my beard touch my microphone. You know, this thing's very unwieldy. One thing somebody had brought up with me, uh, a lady, no less, and said, uh, oh, you're just going to keep the 70s porn stash going. We're going to grow your beard out. I said, well, it was until wintertime decided to come around. Yeah, I actually finally got here. So but, these uh, things are, are finally proven. I am. Uh, I am actually of that sentiment, though. I'm I'm cutting this fucking thing off as soon as it looks like we get no more cold weather coming in. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the I mean, it ain't going to be hard for me to do as soon as the temperatures are above, I would say, 80 degrees. Well, I'm thinking like steadily like every day over 50 <laughs> I'm, i i hate wearing a mask with a beard I it's hate tough it. it's tough um i do it every day yeah because i mean and the thing is because mine starts getting kind of long real fast and it requires me then to actually like really kind of keep it up more of a like a than what i it, it makes me more of a dandy than what i want to be yeah and uh, what uh, i want to be is that oh that went into the 500 miles know. the um yeah it, it's it's a problem. So then when I go slapping a mask on, then I take it off and it's all fucking sideways and weird and oh, shit. Yeah. Look like I just woke up. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. So I have a beard comb in my pocket at work for that very reason. You know, and I've had people say, well, beard's what makes you a man. It's like, no, no, no. I have my big, my big, uh, my big Grecian bush. That's is right. What makes me a man. That and the balls. The balls, the balls and the bush. <laughs> The ball throw, you might say. To go from the kill zone <laughs> to the thrill zone. But, uh, I, and the other thing is this, because, man, there are some people, it takes them a long time to grow what even looks like a halfway acceptable beard. That's just poor genetics. It occurred to me that I've only been growing this bitch, what, four months now? And it's, like, already, like, th- I can hide three fingers behind it. It's, it, it grows fast. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, you, uh, and you got one that you don't know where it stops. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I grew it for two and a half years, and it was still getting longer and longer. I went, yeah. fuck this. Well, because I started rolling over on it at night. That ain't, that ain't no fun. That ain't no oh, way fuck to play. No. That yeah. ain't no way to play. That ain't no way to live. Shit. So, uh, yeah, I, it's fine. I, it, it's fine. I, I like having a beard. But I don't in the pandemic, and frankly, and I don't when it starts getting too fucking hot. Fuck it. Oh fuck yeah, man! It's it's just the way it is. Yeah. You had a quote. Um, just wait. It's just the way it is. The eighties, right? Things will never be the same. Any other uh, shit going on? Because we have, and by the way, and if it sounds like we're kind of killing some time, we kind of are because we didn't know if LJ was going to get us some late breaking stuff. I think he is still stuck in tech hell. Yeah. Yeah, I really haven't heard from him. Yeah, which kind of sucks because, uh, cause, man, I know a lot of you really, really appreciated uh, his perspective because it's different from ours. I hate to say it, but Brandon and I generally have a very similar view on some shit. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll debate occasionally, but usually it's just us bagging on other people because we agree. That's what we do. <laughs> That's what we do well. I... I uh, it was only for a moment, just because it fills my heart with joy. We did one. We did this two weeks ago. Yeah. And at that time, I was just in a good mood that the 49ers had made it to the postseason for some strange reason. And looking forward to the Cowboys game the next day. Yeah. You fast forward two weeks later, and in two days, they're playing in the NFC Championship game. That's right. In my personal opinion, even if you could put – any other team where the San Francisco 49ers are right now, this has been one of the best postseasons I've seen in a long time. Right. 
A lot of people would argue because what is left? Well, the chiefs are left, and, you know, this this nation is nothing if not a whole bunch of fucking bandwagon fans. So the whole Mahomes thing, it's it's amplified around here because he uh, went to, God damn, that Crayon University, uh, Texas Tech. <laughs> You so, know, where they fart in the bathtub and bite the bubbles. <laughs> where they, uh, you know, teach you how to make jinkum. A lot of rape and gonorrhea, too. Yeah, usually. And that's only among the football team. But the... Um, <laughs> but, but, um, Dirty that's pool, the, man. But that's the thing, man. I mean, but, you know, so people around here, naturally, they're going to gravitate that way. Because if it wasn't for Patrick Mahomes, they're either... Dallas Cowboys fans or Denver Broncos fans. And when both of them suck, which has been pretty regular lately, they start expanding out a little bit. Start seeing some Texans fans, which are horrible. That's a dumpster fire. Uh, Arizona Cardinals fans all of a sudden, you know. Boy, they've been. A place place like 12 and a half, 13 hours away. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, But Kansas City. Kansas City's only like nine and a half. So. Well, see, I'm like a weird variable. I like a goddamn team that's almost a whole day away. Your, yours has been a team, though, from, from birth. Yep. You know, I mean, I was born a Vikings fan. I kind of added the Colts later because the Vikings decided they didn't want to win anymore after Warren Moon retired. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, they, I was, they, they hit the dregs, and just about that time was when Indy was on the way up. So I was like, oh, well, one's AFC, one's NFC. I think I might be able to pull this off. Yeah. And if they play each other, I just don't watch or I don't root for one or the other. So. It's just like Ultimate Fighter when you got two dudes from your team fighting each other. It's like, I'm going to just be – I'm not even going to watch. I'll Just let me know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's it, it's been a really interesting – and, it, man, it has to be a really good postseason to fucking get my interest. Yeah. Well, shit, man, you go last week, and all four of those games were decided with a score. Yeah. Three of them by a field goal in the waning moments, and one went fucking overtime, which, goddamn, fucking Buffalo. I could have had everything I wanted that week if Buffalo had gotten the job done. Yeah, 13 seconds left, and that's still too much time on the clock to to leave another team with. It's, it's very Tom Brady-ish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, a, a lot of favorite moments already. The 49ers going to Lambeau and fucking beating Green Bay. That's probably one of my favorites. But Tampa Bay... Tom Brady and company going in, and Tom Brady almost did that. What Tom Brady does is make a fourth quarter comeback. Yeah, only for the Rams to finally figure that shit out. The one time that Joe Buck said something I thought was hilarious was uh, actually a couple weeks ago. I think the, it was yeah, yeah, because they had to play in the wild card um, weekend as well. Yeah, and uh, and he had said it to it, I mean, in the look on uh, what's his name Troy Aikman's face, Joe Buck, who I I loathe that man. If, if he is a man, but he had said something to the effect. He said, he said, man, he said, I don't want to say that Tom Brady is great, but every time he throws a pass, he breaks a new record. And you can see Aikman's face in the soul crushing that, that, that uh, delivered. Uh. <laughs> but, you know, really, it would, it's going to be nice that there'll be records that probably won't be broken with the new rules. What we know about fucking traumatic brain injury, right? There's not going to be anyone sticking around to throw for that type of shit anymore, unless the the new rules work so real, real work so well. We got a guy in his fifties at quarterback. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I don't know. That's um, do we want to go even deeper on NFL, or we need to move along? Eh, well, shit. Let's uh, let's get a quick pick. Who do you thinks? Who do you think's going to be in the Super Bowl this year? We're down to four. I, well, let me let me break it out by this weekend. So the. Uh, AFC Championship, NFC Championship, and then I will reveal what I think will happen for Super Bowl. But, um, but let's both do that, right? So we'll oh, do absolutely. This, this weekend. Um, my thought is I think the Bengals pick off Patrick Mahomes at least three times and win by the skin of their teeth. Probably some along the lines. I'm thinking like 30 to 28. Ooh. Um, on the Rams 49ers game, I think it's another one that just astounds critics, and the 49ers get the win by the defense step it up and beat them 13-10. <laughs> you know, I, we have eerily similar thoughts. I, me personally, because one of the first big 49er games I can remember watching is the 49er Bengals Super Bowl. 82? No, you weren't born yet. No, 89. that was uh, 89. Yeah. I was trying to bang a bartender out at the enlisted club at camp. And, uh, that's neither here nor there. How funny how our lives uh, intersect, right? <laughs> how and, similar, right? And I, I can just remember my gra- my mother being a fan. And after she passed away, I kind of got out of – no one really into football at that point, you know? Right. And uh, until my grandmother sent me a little care package that had 
Joe Montana Sports Talk Football 93 in it. Ooh. I was like, oh, shit. Got into that, and it became like my refuge. I'd burn hours playing that shit. Because one of the first ones that had a season mode and the fucking thing talked. It had commentary. Very basic, but it was there. It was Pat yeah, Summerall. Sega? Sega Genesis. Wow. You had like, so you had like a first-gen Sega then. Yeah. Damn. I had that Sega CD. Joe and, Montana, just an aside, second best quarterback to ever play the game, right? Uh, I, I would like to say, yeah, I, I think so. I mean, shit, he used to be the number one to me until Tom Brady just came in and blew everything <laughs> yeah, up. It's like, like, I'm, I mean, it was, it was fun here like five years ago because we'd, we'd engaged this argument and Brandon was like, man, I'm, mm, I, mm, I don't know. I don't think so. You know, let's talk about this. <laughs> now, you know, and then like five years <laughs> later, it's like, man, motherfucker of course of yeah. course he's the best I, I wanted it to go from how i couldn't admit it immediately that i can't deny it right there's no argument no. to go from just fucking fighting it like i'm not really sure just be like nah fuck it what do you want me to say he's the best are the playoffs better without the patriots yes and tom brady yes okay fucking it's like every year man in the nfc championship game either tom brady or aaron Rodgers is fucking in it well, all the dickweeds. Well, it's not Aaron Rodgers a lot. They, uh, they, they, they can't seem to find the Super Bowl again. <laughs> so, but, yeah. uh, but a lot of the uh, assholes on ESPN say that it's bad for the game because they, they try to make the argument. Well, here's why it's bad: is because, uh, you know, ratings. They immediately go to ratings because that's what ESPN does as a company. They know how it works. They know that NBC has the Super Bowl this year. You want it to be a Super Bowl people tune in for, right? If it's Rams Bengals, that's going to probably not be a great rated game. If it's 49ers Chiefs, you bet your ass that's going to be a high rated game. But ESPN, those talking heads know that directly translates to to scratch. It's all money. Ratings are money. And they and that's the thing. If you start getting teams in that that don't make the postseason very often or whatever, or as an unpopular lion shitbird for a quarterback or something, I don't know something. <laughs> just just you know, in theory, just throwing it out in, there. In theory, are you talking about the most honest man in football, sir? The most honest in football. Yeah, but the um, but but that's that's the argument they try to make is like, well, you got to have the good ratings because otherwise people won't watch. So it's yeah. no longer really even about the game, and they're almost openly admitting. It ain't about the game. It's really only how we can line our pockets here. Right. But uh, going back to uh, your, I, your I pick. You that's all right. No, that's all right. That, that was a proper aside. Uh, I, I want the Bengals to just fucking destroy Kansas City. I, I agree with you. I think it's going to be a late steal, something that uh, you know breaks old P. Mahomes' heart. Kind of like what happened. Old, old P. Homie. P. Holmes. And uh, – I, but I, it'll be a high scoring affair. Yeah, I I wouldn't be I, that shocked. One's, that one's a game. I'm, you know, well, if I only had a hand computer right in front of me, right? The um, so the line. Let's, let's the look. Chiefs are at a uh, seven. It was seven and a seven half point. the other day. Yeah. See, that's the thing with Vegas; they will kind of move that bar around once in a while. Sure, See, that's... and and my Yahoo Sports app still says Chiefs with seven and a half, but they're saying over under at fifty four point five. So fifty four and a half. I think that's going over. Yeah. I think it's going over. I, I would pick the over on that. Without an eye. Yeah, I'd pick the over on that. I just hope it's not all Chiefs, though. But, you know. <laughs> if, you, if you went the over and picked the Bengals to cover, God, dude, shit. That's pretty good That's pretty good money right there. Hell, yeah. 49ers Rams. So the Rams given uh, three and a half. They're over under at 45 and a half because they know, they know what, the, what the 49ers have been doing lately. Yeah. <laughs> And that's just fucking crushing everybody's dreams. It's it's funny. It's it's not really a, a hat they wear. Dallas and Green Bay. I mean at at their house. And I'm not even a 49ers fan, but God damn, we got fucking goosebumps just talking about this. I'm just gleeful shit. and doing my little happy dance that two fan bases that let's let's call it what it is. They are those are entitled fucking fan bases. Oh yeah. Really, and especially for Dallas, for no real reason. Yeah, it's like, oh, why are they America's team? Did we vote on this? Yeah. Is it just because oh, they was, made the most money in merch or what? That was coined in the 1960s by some guy that's been dead and gone for 40 years we now. Need <clears throat> we yeah. need a new poll. We need a new poll. Or or isn't it just bullshit to call something America's team? Actually, that's what yeah. the Redskins should have done before they changed their name. It should have went to the Washington America's team. <laughs> the Washington Americans. <laughs> the Washington America's team. So it'd be, what? Hey, that 
Well, hey, we're, you know, we're not just saying America's team. That's instead, our whole name. Instead of WFT, which always looks like the, it's like, ah, it's, oh, no, it's not what I thought it was. I get behind, <laughs> ah, shit, it's football, isn't it? Ah, fuck it. Washington team football. <laughs> Long story short on this 49er thing, I don't want to gush about it too much, but I'm going to. Sure. They have gone, they had two games left in the season. They needed to win them both. One was against the Texans. Done. Fucking right. bus fare. The other one was against the Rams. They had to beat the Rams to get into the playoffs. They did it in overtime, which is not something they do. And I was wondering, couldn't you make the argument, if, if I'm being devil's advocate, Go for couldn't it. you make the argument like, yeah, but the Rams weren't really trying to win that game. They already had secured a Seeding was still still there because they if the Cardinals had won, then they would have been the NFC West champs. Gotcha. And the brackets would have looked a lot different. Yeah, but with the way things went down the way they went down, you couldn't have asked for a better fucking situation. The 49ers got the Rams number this year. They do not have the Cardinals number this year. Ooh. And that was – and if that – like you said, if it would have gone the other way, that's a, that's a whole different game right yeah. there. The great thing – here's what I love about the 49ers. They, they fucking didn't even break 500 at home. Four and four at home. Six and three away during the regular season. But – they are like fucking last four games have been away and they have won. This is a big one. They're going back. I agree with you. I think it's going to be close as far. I think it's going to be a little more high scoring because thankfully it's not that long a drive. And I think there are going to be more 49er fans and Rams fans at that game. I, you know, and for people that hate the 49ers, all I can say is I get it because you can look at the fan base that the uh, that the Raiders have, that the Steelers have, that the Cowboys have. Fan bases can be a problem, and those are fuck two California teams among the two most populous in you know cities in well in America, but certainly in California, and that's L.A. and San Fran. Yeah, there's there's a fucking natural built-in rivalry there. Oh fuck yeah, and uh, and the Rams haven't been back in L.A. very long, so certainly the Forty ers <laughs> Well, they've yeah, got a sure. fan base that's pretty damn loyal, and they uh, the word got out that they were trying to fuck them out of tickets, and, well, no, no, no. <laughs> well, hey, man, fucking Rams fans are buying these tickets and selling them to 49er fans. It's pretty smart. Yeah. So, I, uh, yeah, do you think that's going to be a problem then? Because I, they're used to being the road team, and they're going to fucking maybe potentially have a road game, but they're going to have a home crowd. That's where that – no, because that's, that was what set them up that, to have that must-win game to get to the playoffs. Okay. So I think I don't even fucking know what to think. I'm I'm really leaning on the part. Uh, I don't think they covered the spread. I think that th- that three and a half is there for a reason because it's probably going to be decided by a field goal. Like it fucking seems, seems like, like it's it always, always been. Right. Yeah, I mean that one would not surprise me if it goes overtime. I think you know, Jimmy so. Garoppolo throws two picks. Yeah, Louis usually usually call usually, one. Uh, yeah, I yeah. And uh, but I I feel like he's gonna throw one that kind of doesn't matter, and then one that's gonna make shit really difficult. But apparently the 49ers like it when shit is really difficult these days. His Super Bowl ring was from New England, right? Yeah, and he was he was a bench boy. I, I didn't say I, bench boy. I, I, I said bench boy. I still can't really get my head around how it's like. Yeah, that's that's our guy. <laughs> it's like man, that's our dog. Ooh. So uh, so then moving on to the Super Bowl, then clearly, so I've got then Bengals against uh, the 49ers, a repeat of the Super Bowls in 1982 and in 1989. Um, yeah, that'd be so much more entertaining. I mean, any choice is going to be a rematch. One's just more recent than the other. Yeah. I almost thought, well, shit, we should maybe wait because we are going to do another podcast the Friday before the Super Bowl, but I don't want to get deep into football next yeah. time. We're, that's and, what we're doing. And if time. something happens to 49ers lose, yeah. we're not doing a podcast yeah. on Friday. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. We might do the podcast. We may not be watching the Super Bowl. But yeah. If, yeah. If it's, what, so what's the deal breaker? Rams, Chiefs, if it's, if it's that for the Super Bowl that you refuse to watch? Honestly, if the Bengals are in it, I would watch it. See, because I'm, I'm in that same boat. Basically, as long as it's not Chiefs Rams, I'm watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, fuck yeah. There's a yeah. There's a high probability, seventy five percent chance I'm watching that Super Bowl. But then again, even if it is Chiefs Rams, there there's still about a fifty fifty shot I'd watch it because 
I think that Rams front four, oh, God damn, they hit hard. They hit hard. That, that's my problem, though. I can't fucking root for these cunts. No, but I would because I have no I, I would root I for have a. No loyalties to the NFC West. I would root for a terrorist attack. <laughs> and they were tied and they had to stop the game. And then basically, like, look, we just can't do the Super Bowl this year, guys. We have to cancel it. And it says, fuck you both. All the while, I'll be fucking just laughing my balls and sack off. Yeah. So to the Super Bowl, so my pick would be this, and that is I think it's been clearly based on my picks. It's going to be 49ers, Bengals. Um, I like Joe Burrow, but I think that some wacky shit happens. I think Jimmy Garoppolo gets knocked out of the game in the first quarter and Trey Lance comes in Ooh. and wah bah 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 the, Do the you want do you want a rookie on that on that stage though? Well, this guy's got fucking ice I I you know ice in his veins. This dude has always looked I mean he has he has he doesn't he has a don't give a shit attitude evident by the game that he started, right? Uh, yeah. the the second to last week, you know, I think or, or Oh week fuck before. yeah. Fucking. I mean, that guy has no qualms about putting that fucking thing downfield, man. His he, he vertical is the the game he likes to play. Yep. And they got a decent run game. My my only hope is the the biggest worry I have is 49ers get a lead. I, I'm going back to the to the fucking Rams thing. We just real quick. They get a lead and then they Fucking two minutes left in the game, they just start doing nothing but prevent defense. Yeah. That never works. It never works. The funny thing is, look at the Bills, which, you know, fuck shame on them for losing the Chiefs. Fuck yeah. They weren't even in prevent. That was the other problem. They weren't in prevent. They were just on a shitty soft zone, too. You want to talk another thing about a shitty fucking Packers team? That fucking field goal that won the game for the 49ers? Yeah. They had 10 people on the field. They didn't even have 11. Well, yeah. It's like, shit, apparently that dude's like, I'm out. Yeah. Y'all, y'all let me know how it turns out, huh? Y'all were taking me a little nap. To quote Antonio Brown, all days are half days if you just fucking leave. <laughs> just going to sit right here, <laughs> and I'm going to eat my Twinkie and uh, put my shoes on. Actually, that was that kicker the Vikings used to have. He'd always sit down there and eat a goddamn candy bar. That was his fucking ritual. It's like, that was it his looks, bag? Yeah. Like, oh, it, it'd get like to be like a third and long, but in field goal range, you'd see that motherfucker down there like putting a shoe on and ripping a Snickers bar open. I mean, it's like good product placement, right? But, Fuck yeah. Well, uh, uh, Marshawn Lynch did Skittles. That dude ate Skittles on the sideline. He did, did Skittles. That's almost a snack food that almost requires more of a drug reference, right? That yeah. guy did, uh, he did uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos and Skittles. <laughs> That it, well, goddamn! There are some uh, Skittles named fucking strains of THC. That's for sure. So, shall we talk about well, other snacks, yeah. other other candies, other treats that are called jelly beans? <laughs> the, the, the fucking Jack. <laughs> hey, I think you guys are gonna really like this. What is it? It's a bunch of hot shit. It's uh, they they are indeed truly jelly bellies. They are. They are. They are, they are, brand, they are branded jelly bellies. What are they? Well, it's the Fiery Five Challenge. Challenge. The, uh, it has got, so let me see if I can remember, sriracha, jalapeno, um, cayenne, uh, habanero, and uh, fucking uh, Carolina Reaper. Those five. And now, if you're sitting back, and I get it. I, I absolutely get it. It's like, man, bitch, that can't be that hot. Fuck your mouth. I'm here to tell you that they they indeed are. I had cayenne. I went middle. I went middle. I was like, look, I don't want to go the fucking highest. I don't want to go lowest. If I go highest, it's gonna it's gonna fucking burn so bad it's gonna make my brain explode. If if I go really, really low, I'll get a bunch of hubris. I don't want to do that either. So <laughs> And I went, to, to the credit of the jalapeno or the sriracha one is the easiest. Yeah. The uh, so I went I went cayenne right dead dead in the middle number three, and immediately went nope we're done here I'm good I'm good I don't want to Brand- play this game anymore Brandon Brandon goes Carolina Reaper fucking twice by accident yeah that- twice <laughs> I didn't mean to that second time <laughs> I wanted I wanted to try the sriracha yeah but then I I don't know why I just went from the one to the five <laughs> I I blame the weed. Got it, it. I think I think it fucked me on this. It's one. Like you know, the sriracha one doesn't have any speckles, right? I but, it's, it was... but it is fun. It's got a little spin thing on the top, you know, so you can like play some fun games with your friends. That's right. We're going to be doing some uh, porn trivia later with Ruben. If y'all if y'all hate your friends, pick up a buck of this shit. And it's um, 
So here's the other. There was another fun one. Hold on. I'm going to. Uh oh. That's off the sheet. That's the one of the big. You know, oh, that 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 the, the big extreme warning on it, right? Oh, I didn't. I never even read that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll read it for all of you good people right now. Uh, uh, consume at your own risk. Keep out of reach of children on the age of 13, the elderly and yes. pets. Do not consume if you're allergic or sensitive to hot and spicy foods, peppers or capsaicin, pregnant, breastfeeding, or have a medical condition for which consumption of an extremely hot food could cause an adverse reaction. Due to the hot nature of this food, it may trigger asthma symptoms. Do not give to persons except with their permission and only after sharing this warning. Uh, so I can't fucking prank nobody so there's your disclaimer on is that a, is that a rule or is that a law how'd you like my disclaimer voice I, I fuck, that's why i shut my mouth you're you're in work mode bro <laughs> so uh, it says so uh, how can you handle a few tips to get you started do you like heat good yeah now go get a trash can and keep it handy because you still might need it for so you like have to spit it out or vomit maybe i don't know well, I mean, you're going to go full hog. you got to go full hog, right? Yeah. Do spin the wheel to determine your fate. How hot will it be? Will it be smoldering like sriracha or scorching like Carolina Reaper? Do make up your own rules. Being boozled is what they call it. Is a game of risk. What's yours? Who can eat every flavor? Eat the spiciest. Eat the most. Eat them blindfolded. Eat them without quenching the burn. There are so many options, so many activities. This is like, what, did Huff and Doback fucking create this game? I added that last Uh. one. (laughs) Um, Do not drink water. If the jelly bean is too spicy, drinking water is a great way to take that heat and redistribute it to every part of your mouth. And they're not wrong. And and it does have to go down stairs as well. That's right. Uh, Do drink milk, eat ice cream, rice, honey, or even lime to extinguish the burn. Lime, huh? Yeah. And do not say we didn't warn you. It, period, is, period, hot, period. So all of that said, all of that said, it's fine. Why is Kevin even going here and still talking about this nonsense that he will never eat again? (laughs) Well, how about this? Let's talk about the nutrition facts. Ooh, let's hear that. Servings for that bucket? No. Three. Ooh. Serving size, four bags. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, damn. <laughs> four fuck bags of that fuck stuff over there. You want to nope. binge eat some fart nuggets or oh what? Oh, my God. I can only imagine if you, like, swallowed them whole. What it's going to do to your insides. Oh, it's going to be like the fucking devil's Alka-Seltzer down there. Your stomach is sitting there enjoying its day on the beach. Do, do, do. What a good, what the hell is that? This thing's real hard. We'll break it down in a minute. It's kind of sweet. Ow, 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 ow. ow. What is this? Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Kick this down to the the upper intestine. (laughs) Turn, fucking turn your belly into E.B. Farnham. Having some uh, gastrointestinal issues, and I'm uh, trying to... Fucking, I can't, God damn it, I, I can't remember what he says. Well, granted, I only had just the one jelly bean. You had two, but... Um, Look, that I had three. I had a jalapeno. Oh, I and, forgot about the... Because that was your first one, Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I let the fate of the wheel decide, and then I just started picking them out. <laughs> with that... Because with, I'm a dummy. With, with, no, with no worries of what the wheel actually said. <laughs> That's the, and I got him in at first, like, yeah, it can't be that bad. And it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Not as bad as the last dab. No shit. Nah. So that nah. Uh, so the Apollo peppers are well. I, I will say this because Jelly Belly does do it, and it, uh, they do it justice. If you fucking like hot stuff for some god awful reason to, to that degree, yeah, 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 maybe maybe look into that. Maybe you you can you can get yourself some Carolina Reaper jelly beans. Are they going to be as hot as the as Carolina Reapers? No, because they have to candy them. Yeah. And, and the the business of making jelly beans, the heat actually is going to draw some of that capsaicin out. So here, in comparison, okay. Scoville unit for the Carolina Reaper, 1.6 million, we'll call it. 1.6 and change. Yeah, yeah. I, I tap out over 100,000. The Apollo sauce is over 2 million. Ooh. So who knows? I don't know. That last dab can stay the fuck at your house. I'm glad I got it for you for Christmas. I regret that. I know, actually, that's the thing. You know. I don't know what to fucking do with it. <laughs> what am I going to do? I need to fucking do something with it because the last thing I need is my grandmother fucking be like, ah, need some hot sauce for my chips. Get a ham. Uh, get Put some my dick in it. Pie. 
dickhead. Oh, don't recommend that. Uh, get a get actually a concentrate the frozen concentrated pineapple juice, and put fucking several drops of that shit in there, and then glaze the ham with it. Yeah, but but then I still have basically a full bottle of hot sauce. I'm just trying to give you an idea. I mean, that might take care of six <laughs> or eight drops. Why is that be a normal size bottle? It needs to be like a travel size yeah, like a, bottle, like a fucking thimble, right? <laughs> yeah, like a tank shirt. Just a fucking, just a drop will do you. God, it's fucking obnoxious. We'll send, we'll send it to, uh, we'll send it to Daryl. Uh, yeah, tell him it's water based lubricant. And then we'll, we'll send it to him and tell him he's got to do it, and then also take a photo of the top of his head when he eats it. Speaking of water based lubricant, yeah. and uh, kind of tying into to my job, there's okay. a dispensary in town that has THC infused water based lubricant. I shit the name. THC infused water based lubricant. Those words just came the fuck out of my mouth. Like Astro Lube? The one and the same. For so for fucking and such. Yeah. Is that a thing? I didn't realize it. I mean, I it is. Yeah, yeah it is cuz there's proof. That doesn't make any sense because you were explaining uh, why the ladies use the suppositories and how those work. Yeah, because they don't get you no... stoned. Yeah, so why would you? I guess I don't understand. It, it's just a, it's just stupid. It's for idiots. It's for, oh, it's oh, for idiots. Okay, yeah. Cool. All right, gotcha. Because I think it was like thirty bucks. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you know, a little bit of spit, same thing. <laughs> well, spit and tequila's gotten me through life. What's up with you? <laughs> What's your fucking excuse? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, all right. Uh, shit. We're 40 minutes into this thing. Yeah. Do we even want to talk about Oh, by the way, it's the uh, this is the Mead, Metal, and MMA podcast. Right. We like to get together once a week, talk about... Uh, once every know, other week. Uh, some of the issues of the day, be it in Mead or Metal or MMA or all three. Or football. Or football, this case. Or um, porn. We got a little porn in there. I think we're already 40 in. I'm, I mean, we've already kind of... We've already jumped yeah. the shark, right? Uh... God damn. Trying to think. We already fucking covered Boston's. Right. Um, well, wintry, whole... wintry weather this fucking week. Now, where we live, and I get it, if you're like up in like Canada there in like uh, Michigan or Ontario or whatever. Uh, you know, Michigan, Canada. You know. Uh, they're, they, I mean, come on. <laughs> Might as well. It's, it's kind of hubris. Where are you hanging on to that? That peninsula, point, right? right? Yeah, we're just a bunch of jackasses. <laughs> we still got we got Michigan. <laughs> well, you got to fucking give Harbaugh's a job, right? That's the abs. Uh, <laughs> well, you give one a job, the other one I don't really care for. Yeah. Um. Actually, it's the other one. I have the not Michigan coach. It's oh, that yeah, John, the cunt. Is he? John's a cunt just because he fucking beat Jim in the Super Bowl when Jim was a coach of Forty ers Yeah. The old Harbaugh, baby. Who was he with? Uh, uh, forty nine. Uh, Jim was with Forty ers Harbaugh's with the Ravens. Yeah, John. Yeah, huh? Old John and Jim. You know, because their parents had so much imagination. Sounds like it, right? John, Jim. You know. Where's Jack? Yeah, Jim, Jimmy Jack. Jimmy Jack. Jimmy Jack Harbaugh. Bill, <laughs> Bi- Billy Fred. <laughs> God. Damn it. Uh. But anyway, so if you're way, way up in the northern tier of states, this weather we had on Wednesday is no big shit. But, man, it was fucking something around here. Because I leave, I had to work at 5. Yeah. And I'm driving in, and there's like weird little sleet shit, kind of. But nothing too major. But enough to where I hit an intersection that uh, kind of broke my tires a little loose, and I was not expecting that at the moment. I went, oh, uh, oh. Well, well little, good morning to you. A little bit of a butthole check. <laughs> yeah. Now, check the, your hole. Now, the thing is, nobody's on the road at 5 a.m. around here, so, you know, there's that. Fuck but, yeah. Uh, so I get to work. That's fine. And it continues to kind of do that weird rain sleet thing for a solid half an hour, and then the snow comes. And I, it froze fucking solid. I, um, I go, going home for lunch, man, I had it in four-wheel drive. You know, I drive a fucking Jeep. I have it in four-wheel drive, and I'm still getting squirrely as shit here and there on those roads. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a scene, man. But anyway, so, and then I got back to work fine. No no real issues there. Shit, man, by the time I walked out of there at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, hell, half that snow had already melted off. Oh, yeah, as soon as that sun peaked out a little bit, it was like, gone. Yeah. To the earth with you. But it was sad, man. There was actually somebody I, I know um, that died in an accident that fucking morning. And it wasn't even his fault. He was, he, he was just staying in his lane and well, semi could not. Damn. Yeah. 
So fuck. It's it's weird that it's weird to see the demise of someone I know um, from anything not COVID. Because man, COVID COVID starting to kill a lot of fucking people now that I know. Yeah. God, man. Hey, oh, it's shit. just a flu, right? It's just a flu. Yeah, that's fine. I had a guy uh, when I was uh, at Stripes earlier today. I was wearing my mask because you know I'm trying, trying to trying to do do what's right, do what's best. And right, man, fucking whatever. But this old man, like fucking sees me wearing masks, like how come you're still wearing that mask? You don't have to, you don't have to wear that mask. And I was like, well, I got COVID. And then I coughed. Well, like, you want me to take? I can take the mask off if you want. If it offends you. He he fucking didn't. He just turned around and didn't talk to me. No fucking more. good. Good for you, man. That's that superhero shit right there. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done being questioned about shit. I'm doing. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think I'm probably when when this shit does pass and it will. Um, I'm probably going to look back with nostalgia on the idea of like wearing a mask and I could make all kinds of facial fucking reactions of people and not getting any kind of trouble for it. Matter of fact, I bet I bet I'm in no less than three fist fights probably about two months after all this shit's over yep no more uh looking at that girl saying you're gonna tongue punch or fart box <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean it's like I, I i get it man i i know during this fucking thing running around wearing a mask all the time when i'm out in public fucking i know the looks i give people and i know those looks are probably going to be instinctual by then you know and i'm not wearing a fucking mask that's, that's true i'm gonna get yeah, punched in the mouth three uh, times. well hey you know what at least, uh, at least the pandemic will be over. No, <laughs> it'll feel, it'll feel good. Are we uh, are we positive about? Um, oh, that's not a word oh, to hell. use in this in these trying times. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are we uh, optimistic about the Deftone show in April? No, they haven't given me a reason to be. No, there's that. <laughs> it's not like they've been like, "Hey guys, we'll see you in April." Looking forward to it. It's just they're just kind of doing their thing, right? So uh, optimistic? No, hopeful? Yes. I mean, you know, shit, I want to go see Deftones. Got to stay hopeful, right? Got to stay right. hopeful. Got to stay hope. Got to have that hope. Hey, and so for some of you wondering, is like Crystal like a, a regular on your show now? And I'm here to tell you, yeah, of course. Yeah, shit. <laughs> What's your fucking problem? That's right. Um, yeah, she, whenever she's around, um, she's fun to hang out with. She's got a good sense of humor. She she gets us, which is f- kind of a fucking rarity. <laughs> <laughs> really, if we're being real honest there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she'll she'll probably be on pro- probably more often than not is my guess. So yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move along to picks, shall we? Let's get her done. All right. What are we uh, What are we drinking today? I let me a shot of bullet a little later. In between I'm, the Budweiser, I was thinking the same thing actually. Um, Although uh, syrup is also, that's a victual, right? Syrup is indeed. Yes. Yeah, c- c- syrup, right? Caesarean. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move along. I, well, and, and Budweiser, clearly. I'm not, not, I'm not going to I not don't, I don't even Budweiser. like to pick Budweiser anymore because it's almost just an expense. Like, of course. Yeah. It's like, well, what do you, what, what's your normal drink? Not Unless the one. show starts and, and one of us announces, like, well, we're not drinking at all. Right. Yeah. Uh, there are no, there's no fight card this weekend, unless you're counting the 49ers nope. Rams. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, no, no, fuck that. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the goddamn chingasos of the weekend. And for the MMA aspect of the show, UFC 270 sucked last week. Okay. Yeah, that's, um, I'm not saying that I condone people, uh, you know, helping themselves, maybe call it what you will, to uh, some streams or something, maybe. But if that's the route you went, that's the smart route. <laughs> yeah, and don't fucking tell Brendan Shaw where they're at, okay? Yeah, yeah, that that guy's only out to fuck you, especially if you're a man. Because he's a man fucker. <laughs> Brendan Shaw, I'm going to go on record. Man, man fucker. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you jamming? Um, actually, deaf to, or not deaf tones. Uh, actually, mighty mighty boss tones because of this fucking nostalgia thing. It's, yeah. It was weird to me. I thought that band had been done for like twelve years or so, ten twelve. Great, years. great and, road trip band. Too. And then for them to like all of a sudden like, hey, by the way, sad news to report: we're still brothers and blah 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 blah. But you know, we're going to go. You know, we're we're officially done. You know, we all of the shit we done would have not been possible without you guys and blah blah blah. You know, some that of those kind motherfuckers of thing. had to be cracking sixty. Sure. Fuck it. Starting at 83. Yeah. And there were still four of them that were from the original act. Damn. 
God, you know, dude. The article I was reading was like, there were only four remaining. Like, yeah, out of what, nine or ten? That's that's still pretty good. I, I can't even that. imagine knowing someone that long. <laughs> yeah, without getting really tired, right? Yeah, I'd be like, God, I think I'm, yeah, we're going to have to break up. Just, I, I, <laughs> I can't do this shit anymore. Uh, it's that Ruben. I love you, baby. Yeah, there you go. Hey, that guy had a birthday the other day. So that's right. Four, you know him, 40 Club, got another member. If you know him, you better tell him happy, happy birthday. And if you don't? Yeah. Well, we'll come find you. That's right. Park that beef bus and turn down. Hey, uh, so we'll see you assholes in a couple weeks. We'll be right back at it uh, in, in February. Super Bowl!